crap. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? It's Toby here and today we're gonna be fixing up those rear reflectors We're gonna make them actually functional because the last time we couldn't figure out the wiring So we're gonna have to drop the rear bumper But we are going to have a functional daytime running light a brake light and a turn signal out of these reflectors Big shout out to my follower that taught me how to do the wiring basically sent me a wiring diagram So we have to pop the bumper off which is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt But we did it before for this and we're here with Mr. Evan, five-star mechanic, as always. So we're gonna start with taking off the bumper. This right here is like one of the first steps for taking off the rear bumper. There are three bolts, and you guys probably saw this within the taillight install video, but we're taking them out with a T15 Torx bit on the back side of the fender. So that's the location right there, and Evan is working on that side while I do it. And then there's actually a few for the diffuser on the back side too, or underneath. How's it going, Evan? <laughs> Wait, so I need to take out those next, right? Is yeah. that the T15? There's one T15, there's four. Regular? Seven mil. Seven mil? So I put it over. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so I got the ones out of the wheel well so far, and I guess I'm gonna start doing the ones on the bottom. These were the bolts that we were speaking of earlier. So you can see that one right there. That's literally the last one, but there's that one, and then like two others, and then the torque spits right here. So you just take those out, and then we have to do the middle one still, right? I, I got those. Oh, you got those already? Yeah. Okay. Uh, almost done getting these out. Gotta yeah, take this out. Oh. All right, there you go. You want to pull the body clips off? Lift up. Lift up a little bit. Oh, it came out easy. Yeah. There you go. That was way easier. Yeah, because I, did, I didn't know how to pull them off last time. I just yanked. You're supposed to lift. Yeah. And like, once you get them a little bit ran through, they... <laughs> They pop off easier. Got it? There you go. Hey! You, you ever play 2K? Yeah, I do. You know how they were like, hey! <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> NPCs. As you guys saw, we just pulled the bumper off real nice. That was not bad, we actually got quick at doing that. So, and once again, if you guys are doing this yourselves, these are the wiring harnesses that you need to tap in order to make the reflectors work. We tried to do it on the top side, that's why it didn't work. We forgot the screwdriver, or I mean the uh, the pliers, so we can't clamp with the T-taps, whatever you call them. But yeah, we ran the black wire from the reflector down there, obviously, as you can see, to that black wire on this wiring harness, and now we just need the pliers to clamp it down, and black to black for the ground. We have to figure out where red is going to go, so red to something, and then yellow to yellow, and white to something else. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll tap all of them until it works. The Zesty Man has come to the rescue with the pliers! Thanks for bringing the pliers, Devin. <laughs> what? I said the Zesty Man came uh, to the rescue with the yeah. pliers. Door dashed the pliers. Yeah. There you go. How about the other stuff, the screwdriver? Did he give you a screwdriver? Oh, ooh. No? Um, yeah, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> the brakes on that thing are insane. So since we don't know which colors go to which, because this is an aftermarket wiring harness and my friend sent me the OEM colors, we're just going to have to guess. So right now I'm tapping the red from the reflector to the blue on the harness here. It's like I'm diffusing the bomb. Actually, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Dude, this is like being annoying. It's like not pushing in all the way. There you go. I'm going to take the pliers. And you want to gently apply pressure, not too much, because then you'll literally cut through both the sides. That yeah, should be good. All right, we can test it. Who thought that was that? Yeah, it wasn't. All right, so it's not red to blue. We tested everything, and it doesn't work. So obviously, it's something else. I'm just gonna keep tapping until it's uh, until we figure it out. Or do you think we should? I don't know, man. We just have to guess. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna have to guess at this point. We're just gonna keep going until it's right. It is some ratchet. A ratchet. Alright, so we were sitting here with the multimeter, testing out wherever the multimeter is, plugging in the harnesses, tapping a bunch of different combinations that didn't work, and then Evan's like, just stick the, uh, stick the bare wires into the harness and see what happens, and look, they turned on, so look at this, unlock, 
Red flat, dude, it's perfect. Bro, go go step on the brakes. Go step on the brakes. Hazards too. Oh yeah, hazards. Let's yeah. test it. They're not flashing. All right, so that's that. But let's test the brake. Test the brake. See if it turns red. It's just staying yellow. It's gotta change something. Oh, it's, you think switch, like switch Lock different them. positions. Um, unlock it. It goes red initially when you unlock. It does. Maybe try and step on the brake one more time. Let me see if it, but some, just like switch something there. Yeah, just, bruh. Yeah, we need to switch something. We switched the order of wires around a little bit on that harness. So I think we switched like the red for the yellow or something like that. And now this is the turn signal. So it's flashing red and white. That's definitely not right. So we're gonna try one more different combination until we get it correctly. Cause eBay says that red is gonna be the brake. Uh, you're gonna have an amber turn signal that chases. And then obviously daytime running light is supposed to be white. Wasn't working correctly. Yeah. So white should be this one maybe. Okay, Let's change red start. over one. Shove it in the connector. Yeah. Yes, that's what we mean by shoving it in the connector. We're literally taking the exposed wire end and just shoving it in there instead of wasting our time and destroying the wires with the taps. You know what we need to do? What? We have to wrap all that exposed wire that was cut up. Yeah, so it doesn't spark. Uh-huh. Well look, that's red. Looks cool. Turn signals maybe? Let me try the turn signal. Is it working? No, it's really working. At all? Yeah, now it's not flashing anymore. Something else needs to be changed. Here you go. So that's the turn signal all hooked up. So what was that? That was We yellow. switched the yellow with the white. Yeah, we switched the yellow and the white. And Wait, you gotta turn off the turn signal. Look, off. perfect. You gotta turn it off and see if the, the DRL brake. works. The DRL and the brake. Yeah, both. All right, you tell me. Turn off that. It's still red. How about the brake? The brake is showing up in yellow. Okay, so we need to switch some stuff around. Obviously, the yellow is for the turn signal. That's correct. Switch the switch the red with the white, right? It's your daytime running light, so we flipped it again. Um, it's on the bottom harness, so you can see that right there. I'll zoom it in. And I mean, I'll basically, I'll explain which color goes to which, because now we know what to tap, what to what. Yeah. So that's what you need to do. So you have the white right there. Sorry about the excessive shaking. <laughs> and now we'll figure out the brake. So I'll just hold the brake and you tap every single one until you see red. All right, I'm holding the brake. See how it goes. So pretty much all you have to do is just shove those things in there to test out and see which one it connects to. And then once we get like power and they're all functional correctly, then we're gonna use the T-taps. That's the strategy that we're gonna use. We couldn't get the brake light to work, but what we tapped was the white wire from the reflector to the purple and white, right? And then yellow to blue and purple. That's exactly what we did. So you can see it right there. I will put that on the screen in words. So once again, that is white to purple and white. And then you do yellow to blue and purple. Simple as that. So everything works besides the, uh, the brake light. You have the key, right? Yeah, so we'll show that one more time. Okay. That's your daytime running light. It's white to the turn signal. You see how it flashes yellow on the top and flashes yellow in the headlight? It's flashing yellow. Unfortunately, no brake light though. T-taps are absolute garbage. That's what we've learned today, but I taped them up real nice so that moisture doesn't really get in there and ruin it. We don't have a functional brake light, but that's all right. We're just gonna leave it at that because we've been doing this for far too long. We have daytime running lights and turn signals, so. We're gonna wrap up the install here. I need to tape this up and we're just gonna put the bumper on and leave, finally. <laughs> and you disconnected it. <laughs> disconnected what? I don't know, I'm just kidding. Okay, don't say that, man, because I took that seriously, okay? Okay. It's not funny. My bad. It's not funny. Oh, uh, we have to be careful with the wires sitting on the exhaust, too. Oh my God. Does this just clip back on or what's going on with that? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> And enough of that. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it pretty much just pops back in. Yeah. It pops back in? There we mm -hmm. go. Does that side pop back in? Yes, sir. It goes like this, okay? He needs to stop making fun of me, honestly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it pretty much pops in. This side Let's is not... Wait, it's just a stupid wire. What about these wires though? They're underneath these. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that should be good. 
All right, um, so we finished up with the install. We're pretty much just putting the bumper back in, all the bolts, but that's the final result right there. I really wish we could have got the brake light to work, but it just didn't work. So when you unlock the car, you have a DRL, and then I'll also show you all the turn signals too at the same time. So you see yellow flash because the taillights do like this sequential startup whenever you unlock it, and that's why you see it. I thought that was you, man, because you've been doing that for the past hour like a jack boy, Raj. Speeding by. Yeah. I'm gonna turn on the hazards real quick. And there you go. So we go to the back. You can see it. That's what your turn signals look like. We now have sequential turn signals on the bottom, also in the tail lights too. So as you guys saw, this is like a terrible install just for the wiring purposes. We never got the brake light to work, but I've repeated myself like 10 times now. And I'm just putting the Torx fix Torx bit screws back into the fender liner and we're gonna be done so I mean it's cool but is it really worth the effort absolutely not they definitely need to like provide actual instructions because the only reason why I knew how to do this is because one of my followers and big shout out to him I'll put his username up on the screen I forgot what it was but he taught me how to do this because he bought them for his car and he struggled like we did until he figured it out literally about to dip out of here get out of the UF garage but Devin's gonna swing it a little later on for the M4. What do you think? If we find the right place, we'll whip this thing around. Nah, nah, nah. We're definitely doing it. Right, Grogu? <laughs> <laughs> it makes noises? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. More time just to show it. So I'm gonna do a remote start at this angle because this is one of my favorite angles for the car. Oh, come on. Seriously? It does not want to start. Bro, why? I don't know why Chevy does that. Like sometimes it doesn't do it, sometimes it does. Well, that's a major upgrade. I wish the brake lights worked. The brake lights worked. Yo, what? I don't know if I'm bugging or not, but they look like uh, they turned red for a second. But there you go. That is sick. Uh, can you show us the left turn signal? Yeah, there you go. And then right, hazards. I mean, it's pretty cool. We were watching back the footage and the brake lights worked, but now they're orange. I mean, orange is enough though, right? Yeah. You're on the brake? Yeah. Orange works, it looks red. Bro, that's so weird. It worked for the one time and then it didn't anymore. I don't know. I don't understand that. That's so weird. He really has me going to the middle of nowhere right now so that he can eat the tires up on the M4 before he gets a new setup. So, where are we going? We are going to an illegal place in Mexico, Juana, south of Texas, I think, past El Paso. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, yeah. So, oh. does that, that says the University of Florida? Uh, and past El Paso. Is that right? Horse yeah. teaching oh. unit. Hmm. <laughs> Literally just drifted an intersection, like went completely sideways, obviously not on a public road, right? And guess what? It knocked out the wiring harness for the white light, the daytime running light on one side, so I don't have it anymore. <laughs> but it kind of works. I mean, it's <laughs> El Toby. Bro, it was too much sauce when the car was sideways. <laughs> I just spent hours on that, man. Yeah, I watched. Uh, I'm saying, like, is it? That's not good. The what are you? Cracking. Where are you gonna do it then? Behind me. Bro, for real? Are you joking? You scoped it out, made sure nothing was in the road. <laughs> trying to focus. Hey, man, I'm just trying to give you some recommendations here. You see, because me personally, I would check before I do it. If I trust this guy. Alright, alright, chill, chill, chill. I need to teach you. No, I got you. <laughs> this man. <laughs> Obviously, we're doing this in, uh, in Tijuana, right? Empty parking lot. No one here. Middle of night. Okay, that was pretty cool. 
I'm not even gonna lie. He did a rolling burnout just now. But he needs to learn how to Alright, buddy. <laughs> he's getting used to his car, though. Not gonna lie. He's, he's learning. I gotta teach you how to counter steer. Okay, be careful. I will. As always. I would not do something I wouldn't do in my own car. You mean crash it? Uh, I'm, you're I'm just kidding. Crap. <laughs> holy crap. I wanted to do one like right by you. Yeah, like, holy spinning. crap. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. You wanna... crapped yourself up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that scared the hell out of me. Bro, my car looks, this looks sick as Like sliding, right? Yeah, this it shit looks, looks nasty. nasty as One more. You can do one more, but that's it. We got to close it down. All right, one more. All right. Probably eating my tread. That's a whole different race now. You. All yeah. right, but don't go too close. My car looks so sick, bro. I've never seen it on the outside like this. Oh my god, this is hard. Doesn't this it look sick? So buddy? hard. Yeah. This car is hard as. All right, we get it. We've, we've got to get out of here before we like seriously get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> bro. I want to see what that looks like on film. This is hard. Bro, I wish we had more space though. I'd be more on the throttle. Yeah. All right, so the tires are probably roasted, but that's okay. Nah, I'm... you're getting new ones tomorrow, so the, it doesn't matter. The new ones are coming tomorrow. We're vlogging his vlog. We're vlogging, <laughs> vlogging. All right, guys, so we're going to move over Baby Yoda. Baby, Baby Yoda will go in our laps. Toby is actually going to try sliding the car now, so we're going to see how that works. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit terrified. Why? Not really, I have confidence in him. Bro, I did it just two seconds ago on a wet road. <laughs> Why is it so zoomed in? <laughs> My in bad. Tijuana. <laughs> I'm still getting the zoom That thing on. has a variable zoom on it? Yeah. Like you can control the zoom? I had no clue. Yeah. That's funny. This is what it's like to be a five foot six male. <laughs> Far back for me. Deep position. Yeah. Let me see where is the best place to be. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> 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 Little moments by Oh my god, dude, it's weird though. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like driving automatic. Yeah. I mean, a, a manual, because like, it'll rev up and then it'll dump the clutch. And then sometimes it doesn't want to rev out because it's too smart. Yeah. Bro. You, you can't do more? You're going to get sick? Yeah, I'm going to get sick. That's it. I didn't even redline it. That's it. I didn't even redline it. No, not I'm for me. I'm, I can't. Oh, you're done? You're I'm sick? Done. I'm done. You're going to get sick? For real? Yeah, I think I'm going to. You got to send me this clip. That's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to learn it because it's a lot different than that car. That car will light up the tires and I could feel like the clutch dumping when I rev it up. Yeah. You don't feel that in that car. No. But like with this DCT, it's like a lot like a manual. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> vomit. <laughs> you gotta send me that. I'm putting that in the vlog. Okay. I just like, I just can't. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm on a cruise right now, and the boat is rocking back and forth. I wonder what hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not the ops. It's the bus. See, that's the bus. Good thing this thing isn't that loud, because then we really would be screwed. Yeah. It's not our Corsa V8 Mustang. So I'm getting sick. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's just bad. Fellas, so that didn't last very long. Now I went to go start the car this time, and the eBay lights are. Oh, wait, they are showing you. <laughs> oh, okay, so it is showing the yellows. Just the daytime running lights on that side are out. Yeah, and just like that, 
the yellow start working again. Stop working for a second. Maybe I'll just unplug the other yellow. Or the other uh, daytime running light, because it is super illegal to begin with in the first place. So I don't know if I should. Damn, for real? You see how it's white on one side? That's a disappointment. Ugh. You know what that means, fellas? Don't buy stuff from eBay. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna unplug that daytime running light on the left-hand side, or try to fix that at another time. But on that note, we're gonna end this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please comment, like, and subscribe. Yes, sir, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.